Hi everybody, this is Matt. We're continuing our series on the cardiopulmonary system and today we're speaking about the left ventricle. The left ventricle is probably the most important chamber of the heart because it pumps blood to your entire body, nourishing it with all that lovely oxygenated blood that comes back from your lungs and empties uh, via the left atrium directly into the left ventricle. So we're going to present once again, and I'd like to thank once more, the authors and publishers of Funktionelle Anatomie aus Berlin from Berlin from 1990. And I'd like to return to this tremendous diagram of the cardiopulmonary system and that is this one right here. Right in the center we will find the heart and number 18 is the left ventricle. To know is the valve just above it which is the mitral valve also known in German as the linke Segelklappe, the sail valve as we know uh, directly translated. I want you to note the thickness of the left ventricular wall relative to the right ventricular wall. It is much thicker because it has much uh, a much greater uh, distance to pump blood. Simple as that. Then you have the ventricular septum. That is very important because if it has a hole in it, and that would be called a ventricular septal defect, the efficiency of pumping the blood is compromised because some of the blood goes back over to the right ventricle. So that is also very inefficient. So anyways, just take a brief look here to review the entire cardiopulmonary circulation. There you have in blue, leaving from the heart, from the right ventricle, the blood in blue, transiting to the lungs, and then in the lungs, the uh, blood picks up oxygen, comes back to the left side of the heart via the pulmonary veins into the left atria, and then it travels into the left ventricle and from there, noted in red, the blood travels through the aortic valve and then out to the body, transits upwards to the brain, downwards to the thoracic circulation, the abdominal circulation, and down to the uh, lower abdomen and to the legs and the feet. Okay, so, and one other diagram that I would like to present gives you a very nice presentation of the heart and the relationship between the, the heart valves and the dynamic with the walls of both the left ventricle and the right ventricle. So, and that is this presentation. So, we have the left ventricle presented right here. You can see how thick that wall is and how muscular it is. You can see actually the chordae tendini of the mitral valve. You can see also how thick the septal wall is, but it can have a defect in it, and as I mentioned, that would be a ventricular septal defect or a VSD, and we'll cover that uh, repair of that with a minimally invasive procedure when we do cardiac interventions. So it's very important for your heart's health, especially for the left ventricular function, that this muscular wall stays free of infection and has maximum blood uh, flow to the muscle 
So it's important to avoid at all costs coronary artery disease, which could disrupt blood flow to any part of your heart, but especially bad is if blood flow to the left ventricle is disrupted because it has such an important pumping function of oxygenated blood out to your body. So that's it. So anyways, um, you want to keep your heart well trained. You keep your muscles well trained, and your heart is a muscle, by staying active. You want to walk, you want to run, ride your bike, go swimming, whatever you like. But it's important to be active because that will keep the heart uh, strong. And if you have a strong heart, it will be able to uh, take the blood back into um, the right side of the heart from the peripheral vascular system, get it uh, pumped to your lungs, and then have it return with oxygen to the left side of the heart, and then pump it out to your body to serve all the needs of the cells of your body. If you do not do that, you're more likely to have a less well-trained heart, which will be weaker, which compromises all those factors. And uh, you need to have all your organs functioning well to live well. If you do not pump blood well, all your organs will suffer, especially your kidneys, which filters, uh, which filter your blood. And if you do not filter your blood well, there are a whole array of problems that arise because your blood is not filtered well. It's kind of a snowball effect. So keep the snowball moving in the right direction. Keep your heart well trained. Avoid smoking because if you're pumping blood that, is ha that has less oxygen in it because you have diseased lungs, then uh, that's a problem for your body as well. So anyways, that's the left ventricle. We will continue on in this series, the cardiopulmonary series with a peripheral vasculature in the next presentation. Have a good day.